Hello guys and welcome to the 7th episode of my devlog series where I make a top down RPG game about a Persian legend called R.S. the Archer If you haven't watched the previous episodes then you should totally go ahead and do that In this episode we're gonna enhance the gameplay, add a new enemy type and also make some sort of a dungeon with no boss fights unfortunately but boss fight coming soon though so make sure to subscribe right now the first thing that i wanted to add was some weak spots for the enemies because currently they only have one weak spot on their back which only appears once so you would have to wait and wait and wait until they do the exact animation and then dodge at the right moment to be able to shoot the weak spot which is well, not so engaging so if you have watched the other episodes you should remember that the enemy has two horns which if you haven't watched the other episode you should totally go ahead and do that i want those horns to be his weak spots so you could shoot them and deal more damage so i opened the photoshop and got cooking after some time i finished these animations and i was super excited to see how it would affect the gameplay so i put them on the test and uh that's a lot of damage that's a little too much damage after balancing out the damage intake i figured out that it would be way too easy and also not so fun to only attack the weak spots so i made separate health parameters for each weak spot so you could only attack them a couple of times until they break this was inspired by the Horizon games. One of the most common ways to make a game more fun is adding different types of enemies. And my game is no exception. The enemy that I want to add is called Nasnos. Nasnos has been described differently in different books. Some say it's not dangerous and some say it is. Some believe that it only annoys humans and doesn't actually kill them. And some even say that it acts like an animal and people were used to hunt them. And some believe that it used to exist as a species before the humans. Its appearance has been described like this. It has half the body of men and half a bird. Meaning he only has one of each limb and he moves around by jumping. So without that, I decided to open up Photoshop and get cooking. I spent an hour or two making his walking animation just to later remember that he moves around by jumping and this is nothing like jumping so two hours wasted and i gotta work on his animations once again after finishing all of his animations i opened up unity to put them into test and while i was making the logic for his animation behavior i found out that there's a die condition but no death animation so back to photoshop i made his death animation and to be honest i kind of enjoyed him die i don't know maybe i'm sadistic so i hopped back into unity and after balancing out some of the variables i put him into test and he's kind of interesting not gonna lie while playtesting the game i found out that if you just move around as the enemies follow you they won't attack you at all but that problem was easily fixed with a few lines of code the next step is to make some kind of a dungeon. Now, I've been using this free asset for wall design for this prototype, and it has this mysterious... Um, how do I describe this? Mysterious platform with a bunch of signs on it. So I made a puzzle in which you have to find four graves to trigger these signs. And after finishing it, you will probably gain access to an area or a new boss fight. But currently, I've only made one cave in which you will find only one of the four signs. The rest I will probably make in the future episodes, so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like, and after that, you can get out of here.